In the waters of this harbor lie a mass grave, the final resting place for almost 2,000 men. 1,177 were casualties from a single ship, the USS Arizona. This is the site of the largest loss of both machine and life in the history of the United States Navy. This is Pearl Harbor. Right now, I'm standing at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. On December 7, 1941, the Japanese Imperial Navy attacked the U.S. Pacific Fleet. This attack brought the U.S. into World War II. President Roosevelt called this the day that would live in infamy. Mr. Vice President, Mr. Speaker, members of the Senate, of the House of Representatives, Yesterday, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. The largest loss of life that occurred in the Battle of Pearl Harbor was on the USS Arizona. The white structure in the background is the memorial for the USS Arizona. Always visible is the oil, which continues to leak 72 years later. Legend has arisen that the oil will stop leaking when the last survivor has died. Only a few hundred yards away is the Missouri, also known as the Mighty Mo, which was seen of the Japanese surrender, August 1945. As you stand in the memorial, you can see parts of the USS Arizona that still stick out of the water, such as several gun turrets, a smokestack, and mooring bits. The ship has also been marked with buoys to show the locations of both the stern and the bow. This is Battleship Row. When the Japanese Imperial Navy attacked Pearl Harbor, they made these waters a grave for 2,402 Americans, while leaving another 1,282 wounded. In the memorial, there is a shrine that lists the names of the men who died aboard the Arizona. The memorial also lists those who were on the ship and have died in the years after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Every year on December 7th, service veterans and their families from both the American and Japanese militaries that participated in the bombing of Pearl Harbor gather in Hawaii to pay their respects. With each passing year, the number of veterans decreases. Soon, there will be no more. Many movies have been made about the attack on Pearl Harbor. Arguably, the most famous and most accurate is Tora Tora Tora. While at Pearl Harbor, you not only can visit the memorial for the USS Arizona, but you can also go on the USS Missouri and the USS Bowfin. The USS Bowfin is a retired submarine which you can now walk through and tour. Aboard the sub, you can walk through the halls and see where the men would work, sleep, and eat during their deployments. Many people took place in this battle, though not all were members of the military. Soldiers and civilians, like Dory Miller, both played a part in this terrible event. 72 years later, there are still survivors of this tragedy alive. The youngest survivor is nearing 90 years old.
This video is dedicated to the brave men and women, past, present, and future of all branches of the United States Armed Services, especially those who had made the ultimate sacrifice in their families. We salute your service and dedication.